Hello and welcome to my next equipment showcase video. Today I'll be featuring the chain set. Now for every Friday in February I'm going to try my hardest to release a equipment showcase video for you guys. Uh, I'm doing this just to get ready for Dark Souls 2 as I am quite anxious to play it. I've seen quite a few previews and uh, listened to quite a bit of talk about it, news about it, and new features and whatnot, and it seems pretty exciting. But anyways, about the chain set, it is uh, a lot better than I expected it to be. It's not really the best armor, but it is uh, pretty good. Now, its defenses overall are I would say about average to a bit above average for other armors that are similar to it. Two armors that are the most similar to it are the Xanthus set and the Warrior set. The one distinctive advantage that this armor has over the others is its poise. The set is uh, slightly heavier than the two mentioned, but it offers 26 poise, which should be just enough to block uh, the one-handed attacks of weapons like katanas, uh, whips, halberds, curved swords, and some other weapons. Now the one, this armor does have a minor weakness of lightning, How? but you again? I hope you've in PvP you really don't see many people use lightning <laughs> attacks. It's very rare that I come across a faith opponent who actually, you know, throws some lightning at me, or has that one lightning weapon augmentation. Yes, it's very rare. Now here we see the location of where you can purchase the heater shield and the armor. <gasps> what a waste of time. Go and fall off a cliff. You can, this armor can be accessed well, very early in the game, except you probably won't have enough souls for it, unless you spend the souls from the bosses on the armor. Oh, and the weapon, the long sword, it can be acquired from this NPC, Andre. And the, the weapon and the shield can also be acquired by choosing the warrior as your starting class. Well, what do we have here? Now the NPC you that uses the set is this guy right guess. here. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. The crestfallen no warrior. Here. Certainly pessimistic. But he serves well as side. a but initial NPC that kind of just generally uh, points well, you in the correct here, direction to go when you're starting the game out. out. There are actually two bells of awakening. Ah, your face. You're practically Not only does he low. show you or rather tell you about the two bells of awakening, but he also explains uh, just kinda generally explains the that you're hollow. What? And restoring your humanity. He also well, tells you how to restore humanity and acquire humanity. And he kind of hints at uh, summoning white phantoms oh, and invading other players to acquire humanity. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how yes, you do it. Yes, this guy certainly well, has a pessimistic now. attitude. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> don't you ever think to forge your weapons? You'd better find a smith box soon. Now, in my Unless opinion, investing soon, souls on upgrading instrument. armor and weapons <laughs> and even your shield well, is much more significant than actually leveling up. Of course, leveling up is, decided. you know, required to progress really as your character I'm and become more powerful. Restfallen. But I believe it will have a more significant impact. Bell? That is incredible. With a fewer amount of souls. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn. That stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. <sighs> Maybe it's time I do something about it. Now, after you ring both the bells, awakening, and talk to him, he will show up in the new Londo ruins. And I don't know if this was an intentional design by the developers, but these little the undead NPCs on the side are really getting in the way of me trying to target 
the Crestfallen Warrior. Now, from what I recall, it seems I can't remember if hollowed NPCs talk or not. I don't think they do. But for some reason, it seems like some of them do. Maybe I'm just remembering that incorrectly. So after you defeat him, you get nothing except 1,000 souls or more if you're on New Game Plus or Plus Plus, etc. And now on to the player versus player. Now the armor is pretty awesome as I mentioned earlier, but not a very big fan of the long sword. It's just a regular straight sword, has that typical regular move set, and it's um yeah. Not a big fan of it. And for me being the level I am, it may be a pretty low tiered item. And this guy is not going easy. Yeah, I got uh, utterly destroyed by this guy. I don't know how he pulls off that great sword and piercing sword combo. But he certainly has finesse. I fought this guy several times. Uh, yeah. He eventually went easy on me. <laughs> now, I am playing on the PC as this is in high resolution. I will be getting like an HD PVR or something equivalent to it eventually. Now, as I've been playing more PvP again, I I believe I'm restoring my skills, <laughs> remembering how to play, <laughs> in a sense, but still not quite there. I remember all the rules, all the basic rules that I learned from EWGF about backstabbing and counter backstabbing, and. Uh, I think later on in my next equipment showcase video, we'll see that I remembered how to, um, you know, pivot my character around and attack my enemy when he or she is trying to go for a backstab on me. Something really interesting that I uh, saw on Reddit, the Dark Souls Reddit, was they had these uh, these surveys. Uh, it's a Google Doc, and they ask you like a number of questions. And after that, you can uh, see what like everyone voted on. And they ask you some questions like, what do you think is the most powerful weapon type in Dark Souls? And what do you think like your favorite weapon type is? And what's your favorite build type? And oh, just a bunch of questions like that. But it's really interesting to see what people believe and vote on. And yeah, I might make a video on that, uh, maybe not, I'll decide later. This is actually the same guy that I'm fighting, as I said he goes easy on me. <laughs> he actually said he wouldn't use pyromancies. Uh, this was a decision he made on his own. I didn't ask for this, but he was nice enough to see that I was using a mere straight sword and shield some basic looking armor. Basic looking, but I think the armor is actually a bit better than it looks. Fully upgraded. Now, even though this uh, armor has a weakness to lightning, it doesn't look like his uh, lightning arrows are doing very much damage. Or maybe that's a lightning upgraded crossbow. I think the crossbow is called an Avalyn? Evelyn? Avalyn? Something like that. I think the crossbow is more effective if you just upgrade it to plus 15 normal or whatever the max is for the crossbows. Cause that just didn't seem to do very much damage to me. Hmm. Oof, I have him cornered. Yeah, he's certainly making this a lot more challenging for himself than he needed to. Take it. Just go head to head and finish him off. 
And as you can see there, I could take a hit from his claw without it breaking my poise and staggering my character. Yes. There's these, uh, uh, poise figures. I know they all like these, uh, calculations and tests that this guy, EWGF, ran over on GameFAQs. Uh, if you want, I can link it link it to you guys. I think it, that, that would be something like really useful to just have in the about section of my YouTube channel. And this person is no no noob. This person knows what he is doing. It appears. I find using the curved uh, curved great swords more challenging than it appears but they are very potent if you can use them correctly it's a shame that uh they're not releasing dark souls i mean yeah they're not releasing dark souls 2 on the pc not right away i, I would have loved to just purchase it on the pc but um yeah, I don't mind getting on the PS3. It's just that now I feel the need to really get an HD PVR. As I don't think... I think it would be a bad idea if I were to wait until it came out on the PC. It's just, as a YouTuber, I really gotta get the jump when the game comes out. For a game like Dark Souls 2, when my channel is based on Dark Souls, you know, it's, it's really pivotal, really pertinent that I get that jump when the game is released. Now, I was fighting this guy earlier, and from the looks of it, well not this guy, but I mean another person, from the looks of it, this other person seemed to be using some kind of unlimited stamina hack. Um, and yeah, I didn't really stand much of a chance. He was using Ornstein set. I think he was using like some shield and yeah he was just constantly uh stabbing at me he'd like stab at me seven times with the orange sign spear then he'd like roll around and keep stabbing it was awfully suspicious how that one fellow had an awfully lot amount of stamina perhaps unlimited or infinite stamina likely to be hacks yes and that is it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.